four turned out. It was 104 to 85 in favor of the other team. Yeah. So go ahead, laugh it up. Play games in the shower, have the time of your life. There's nothing at stake here except your jobs. Oh, yeah, we got a lot of help from our superstar over here. He bent over only once, and I was to pick up his check. But it ain't worth bending for. Now, I signed that lousy contract when I was hungry, and you know it. Now, I gotta get me some more money now. Hell, I could break one of my legs tomorrow and be out for the season. From your mouth to God's ears. Yeah, I got two, maybe three years left at the time. And I am not busting my ass under no slave contract. Slave contract? Slave contract. You're making more money than Abraham Lincoln. Can he leave the league and scoring? Well, let me tell you something. I let us leave two years in a row at foul shot percentage. And I got to make half of your baby. Well, I can say one thing about my 12 years in this league. What? I did my best. Well, I'm not doing my best. Is that what you're saying? That's right, man. Well, if I'm not doing my best, if you was a good coach, you'd bench me. That's one way I know that you're a job hot dog coach, because you got no guts. Keep. Oh, yeah. Hey. Get out. Get out. Are they embarrassed? Not by you, by the score. Oh, I wasn't talking about that. No. Now it's important. I'll talk to you later. Oh, all right. So, what did you think? I think that son of a bitch is laying down. I mean, Freddy. Who's Freddy? Who's Freddy? You mean the kid? Yes. Don't be ridiculous, huh? Pete? Pete, he needs our help. The poor little boy's been in foster home since he was four. He's already been picked up for truancy. Last week, he hot-wired a car and tried to run away. I almost cried when I heard it. I'm all choked up myself. Look, now, Marge says that if we don't take him, there's nothing left but you and I'll haul. Has he considered politics? Pete, I've been talking to him. And, and he's, he's lovable. He's extremely smart. But he's frightened, and so he covers this all up. He tries to cover it anyway by playing tough. You're doing a terrific job. You're being a smart ass. This is no time to be a smart ass. Here's a human being Marge brought to us because basketball is his whole life. Now, basketball is your whole life, right? Now, you might be the only one in the world who could reach him. Look, he'd be better off with his own kind. How many black families can afford to adopt children? How the hell do I know? What am I, a farmer's almanac? Let him go to one of those couples that make a business of lost causes. Humanitarian types make the worst families. Now, Marge wanted you because she knows you very well. She understands you. She, she feels your attitude is healthy. Well, tell her I just got sick. I'm glad you lost tonight. I pray, I pray you lose every game. She didn't mean that. Honestly, she didn't mean it. Look, honey. We're doing this kid a big favor if we tell him the truth. You mean you're going to tell Freddy to his face that you don't want him? You're going to tell him. You want me to tell him? You don't want to tell him, get Marge to tell him. Oh, my God. Oh, oh God. You're crying, right? Do I cry when I lose? I'd be crying all the time. Will you stop crying? Kathy, listen to me. I saw him up in the stands with our kids. It won't work. It will not work. Do you understand that? Will you please stop crying? Coach? Coach? Oh, what 
you say? Uh, Freddy, right? Yeah. Where's the family? They all went out to the car. That lady, your wife, she told me you had something to tell me. Oh, yeah, I guess I do. Well? I'm trying to think how to put it. Just did. Hey, look, kid, I want you to understand the reason. Christ, you think you're the first? No, I guess not. Well, that settles that. Freddie, what do you say we stop and I'll buy you a nice milkshake before I take you back to the foster home? Can I trade it for something? Sure, like what? I've never been in this place before in my life. Can I shoot a basket? Be my guest. Tommy, let me have a ball. Take your best shot. Took your shot. I don't have all night. I paid a milkshake for that. I'll buy you the milkshake anyway. I don't want your goddamn milkshake. Freddie, give me the ball back. Come on. Come and get it. Freddie, give me the ball. I gotta take you back. Come on, I gotta get home. Give me the goddamn ball. You gonna call foul? Hell no, that's your best move. Give me the ball. Like you said, come and get it. Come on. Come on, take it. Come on, let's go. Come on, try to get it. Come on, come on. Come on, let's go. Try. Here, 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 I'll put it for you. That's it, I have a boy. Hey, come on, I got a back now. Come on. Hey, whoa, hey, up. Lucky. Lucky? Well, let's see you do better, Clyde. Come on. Let's see you take a pass me. Come on. Go on. I'll take a run away from you. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Come on. You got to hustle for a shot. Come on, you hot dog in it. Come on. You're playing like Walt Johnson. Come on. You got to work for a shot. Come on. Show some fight. Come on, you little black son of a bitch. Ow! Your shot, Whitey. There's no handkerchiefs in here. How can I go to work without a handkerchief, huh? How does a white fox have to put a goddamn handkerchief in a goddamn drawer? Ah, that's where you put the handkerchief? Underneath my underwear? Is that where a handkerchief belongs? It's underneath underwear? For Christ's sakes! Does that mean we're taking Freddy? Hmm? You and Marge had it all figured out, didn't you? I don't know what you're talking about. Sure. What happens if the little son of a bitch turns out to be a, um, little son of a bitch? Can we kick him out? Well, we're not, uh, allowed to adopt him officially ourselves for six months. He could, uh, kick us out in that time, you know? He'd love that. Thank you. For what? I haven't actually said I'd take him. Well, that's all right. You never actually asked me to marry you either, dear.
us the whole damn neighborhood. Mm -hmm. We'll rent it someplace. Honey. Bubbles, bubbles. That's enough of this. This stuff goes an awful long way. Don't use any more of this. Well, I, um, I, I can leave you alone now. All the other kids gonna take a bubble bath too? No. Then why do I have to? Well, Freddie, you don't have to do anything. Uh, I thought it would be a nice little treat for you. Uh, luxury. Why don't you just spray me with flit? Oh, boy. <clears throat> uh, look, when you get out, dry yourself with this towel and don't forget to let the water out of the tub, okay? I know how to take a bath. I read a book. <laughs> okay, Freddy, if you want to be a little stinker for a while, be a little stinker. We're going to learn to love you anyhow. By the way, we know you're black. Gee, I thought you never asked, Al. Got some good news for you people. Yeah. Found a buyer for the house. Well, you're not surprised, are you? Oh, no. Just that it took you so long. The little dog fellas in the neighborhood. Over two hours. Property values must be down 20% by now, huh? 25. Well, we real estate people have to keep up on these things. Hey, Al, have you ever thought of yourself as a no good, evil minded, two faced bigot? Often. Why do you think I drink? Anyway, a group of us uh, public-spirited bigots have gotten up a little campaign fund, and I've been authorized to make you guys an offer you just can't refuse. Is that so? How much? 75,000 clams. <whistles> Even though it's common knowledge, you're roof leaks. Will you get out of here, Al? Al? Well, you're not being very neighborly. <sighs> get out before I kick you out and get out of my liquor! Now, you're an Indian giver, you know that? Now, look, Pete, I, I, I know how you feel. I've heard you talk about Walt Johnson. Everybody feels that way about him. Now, listen, I'm as liberal as the next guy, but you know what's going to happen when the word gets out, huh? Go home, Al. Daddy, It's Daddy, time to light Daddy. that cross on your lawn. There's bubbles coming out under the bathroom door all over. Freddy! We're able to break the goddamn door down, you hear me? One, two, three! Oh, oh. Freddy! I guess you're right. I just don't know how to take a bubble bath. Yeah, well, I'm gonna teach you, little man. Come here. Now, First mean? comes the towel. Come on, here! What the hell? Pete? What are you Cut. doing? Pete, don't! No, no, Marge warned me they all go through this to see if you really want him. Want him? Oh, you're yeah, gonna keep it? He's about to become a member of this family! Ah! Hey! Don't look, don't you dare look! Do it again. All right, children. Now, please take your seats. And will the parents please find seats in the rear of the room? Now, will you all take your history books and turn to page 160, the Declaration of independence. Ah, Miss Berquist, we're late. Well, good morning, Mrs. Morrison. Good morning. This is Freddie Wilcox. Well, Freddie, we've heard all about you. I think it's such a wonderfully brave thing your family is doing. Now, Robert, Frederick will have the seat right next to yours. That close? Robert, please take your seat. Now, uh, Mrs. Morrison, we're so pleased to have you here for Parents' Day. Will you please find a seat in the rear of the room? Frederick, uh, your record is a little vague. Have you ever done sixth grade work before? 
I don't know. What about your sack name? Well, I've been to so many schools. They just kind of passed me along if I showed up regular. I was in seventh grade once because I was the only place they had to see. I see. And I understand. Freddie, all I ask of you here is that you do your very best. And I promise you that no matter what, I won't blame you. I blame our archaic educational system. Right on, Teach. Miss Berquist. Right on, Miss Berquist. Now, I'm sure some of you children do not realize what Frederick has gone through and why we must treat him with a great deal of understanding and why until such time as he has the opportunity to catch up with the rest of you, he will not be required to do homework. Hey, <laughs> Mom, I thought all men were created equal. So did I. Those were the good old days. Freddy, oh, get out of there! You've been in there so long. Open the door. Now, girls. Mom, Freddy's been taking a bath for half an hour just because he's been made captain of the basketball team. You wouldn't let me take that long, and I'm dirtier than he is anyway. Hey, some people have to do homework, you know. Quiet! You go to your room, girls. Here's your towel, Rob. Great. I figure as soon as there's no more hot water, it'll be my turn. Right. And what happened to your room? This is a pigsty. Why don't you clean it up? Hey! I thought I lost it. Liz says you're black all over, and I didn't get a good look last time. Take my word for it, I am. Well, I'm white all over, and I don't care if everybody knows. Hey, you're crazy, Ma! Get out! My friends say if you come near me, I'm supposed to scream. <laughs> Mary, you stay out of that room, or you'll get a spanking you won't forget for the rest of your life. Now go to your room. Boy, I wish I was black all over.